In this lesson we're going to look at the flame test and a flame test is a way of identifying cations that's basically positive metal ions so what actually happens in the flame test is that ions when they're heated they become excited and as a result of this they will emit particular color lights and the color of this light can become like a fingerprint a signature which we can use to identify the particular ion so what happens in the flame test well first of all we're going to use a piece of platinum wire and before we carry out the test we're going to dip it in dilute hydrochloric acid to clean its surface and then we're going to wash in distilled water so we don't want that platinum wire to have any impurities on it so we'll rinse in distilled water okay and the next thing we do, we've got the Bunsen burner here now the Bunsen burner flame normally when you're not using it should have the hole closed so that the flame is nice bright yellow orange so that you can you're aware of, that the flames there but when we're doing this test we want to open the hole like that so that we get a hotter flame we get a bluer flame and as a result of that uh, it's easier to identify the different colors produced by the samples that we're testing so what we then do is we take our platinum wire we dip it in the sample now it might be that you direct dip it directly into the crystalline salt or you dip it into a solution of the salt it doesn't matter so that you're going to have the positive cations present on the surface of the platinum wire and then you insert that into the flame and as a result you're going to get different flame colors produced which we can then use to identify the cation being tested and so really in your IGCSE syllabus you're really required to remember the flame colors for five samples and we've got th those here and when we describe these flames it's, it's important to remember you know the key color adjectives so for example in this case we've got lithium okay li plus and that flames described as crimson red right that's what i mean so remember the crimson bit you've got crimson red let's just write those down so that we can remember those yeah so we've got lithium is crimson red then after that you've got this brick colored red here which is calcium ca2 plus all right so calcium iron is brick red all right remember that brick and then after that we've got sodium which is a kind of bright orange yellow color and then the very easily identifiable copper iron flame cu2 plus that's this beautiful blue green turquoisey flame and then finally at the end we've got this lilac flame which is the potassium ion okay so for your IGCSE chemistry GCSE chemistry you'll be required to remember the flame tests for these five ions